Well, there is a new full feature film out about Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas. One America's Richard Pollack sat down with Michael Pack, the film's director, producer, about this uh, film. Take a look. There's an extraordinary new film out about the life of Supreme Court Justice Clarence Thomas, the court's only black conservative justice. It's called Created Equal, Clarence Thomas in His Own Words. This is a deeply emotional film narrated by Justice Thomas himself. While the mainstream media has tried to define him as an ignorant jurist and an Uncle Tom for his conservative views, in fact, they have ignored his dramatic personal story. In Created Equal, Justice Thomas, in his own voice, tells us astounding things about his life that has never been reported in the public. When America News sat down to talk with Michael Pack, its producer-director, here we learn only about his early life, but it's likely you'll be surprised about the rest of it as well. He was born in Pinpoint, a Gullah-speaking area on the coast of Georgia, so English wasn't even his first language. And then his mother moved from Pinpoint to Savannah when he was about six. And as he said, go, then going from rural poverty to urban squalor, a kind of poverty really hard to imagine anymore today. The other piece that is missing in his biography that I didn't know was that Clarence Thomas entered a seminary to be a priest. He wanted to join the priesthood. This is where his heart was even as a young man. I love the contemplative life. I loved uh, lauds, which was the morning prayers, vespers, evening prayers. I loved the Gregorian chant. He would have been one of the first African-American priests in Savannah. So he intended to be a priest. He loved that part of the seminary. He loved the contemplative life. But there at the seminary, he experienced racism. And, and that capped off his feeling that the church wasn't doing enough for civil rights. Talk to me just a little bit more about, uh, about the real racism that he faced. He grew up first in, in a segregated Savannah. I mean, you know, not only you know, colored only restaurants and water fountains, but the Ku Klux Klan marched through Savannah every year. And he actually was a liberal, even a radical leftist as a young man in college. He had a full scholarship at Holy Cross, a Jesuit school in Worcester. He went there and there he was a, you know, black radical. He hung around with Marxists. He is accepted to Yale University Law School and which is not in the film, to Harvard. Yeah. What an exceptional student must he have been to have been accepted into Harvard and Yale. He was a great student. I mean, right from the time he was in parochial school, he was a super achiever. He, he, you know, he felt he needed to do better than all the white students when he was integrating white schools. He graduates and he doesn't get a single law firm to hire him. So he is now up against the racist barrier again. He, when he graduated from Yale Law School, he got no job offers. The people just felt that as an African-American at Yale, he must have been subjected to lower standards. You know, they discounted his diploma and there were no offers, none. This is just a glimpse into the film Created Equal, Clarence Thomas in his own words. If it's not shown at your local theater, ask for it by going to the website justicethomasmovie.com. For One America News, this is Richard Pollack from Washington. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.